I've always had difficulty in recognizing faces, ever since I can remember. But I just thought that everybody was like this. I first became aware of my, fancy word coming up, prosopagnosia, or face blindness, when I was a mature age student. I was studying medicine. I had about 250 fellow students, overwhelmingly teenagers. And halfway through year one, I was accosted by two of my fellow students. And one of them said, hey Carl, what's my name? I said, you're Stuart. And then the other one asked me, okay, so what's my name? And I replied, well, you're Stuart too. And he said, now don't you think it's odd that we both have the same name? And I stared at them and I was shifting my gaze from one to the other and they looked identical, they were tall. They were male, they were teenage, they each had red hair. And after about a minute, almost like a cloud lifting from between them and me, their faces began to come into focus and suddenly I could see a difference. You've got glasses, I said. At that moment, I realized that I had a problem with distinguishing faces. Now, with regard to this prosopagnosia, there's a few different types. There's the so-called acquired prosopagnosia. That usually happens as a byproduct of some kind of damage to the brain. So often there are other problems as well. The other type is called congenital prosopagnosia. Congenital literally meaning with birth. So people are born with it and it can run in families. Now this is what I have but luckily for me I've got the mild form. Me, I can recognize the faces in my extended family but I have met a person with prosopagnosia so severe that he could not recognize the face of his own eight-year-old son. Mind you, under the fairly specific circumstances of when the kid was wearing a soccer uniform and playing in a team on the soccer field. In my case, I have difficulty in recognizing people out of context. So if I run into a neighbor at the airport, railway station, usually can't recognize them. But now that I know I have a problem, I look for cues. Their style of walking, their clothes, their shoes, anything. But it is very regrettable that I can accidentally offend people by not recognizing their face. And maybe that's why I went into radio. It's so much easier for me to remember somebody by their voice.